Hey guys, it's Bethany with ABQ Creations, and I'm really excited because today I get to share with you my leaf pattern tutorials to make these awesome cowls. Today I'm going to talk about how you can make the version with buttons. I also have another version that's just an infinity cowl, and I'll link to that video down below. The other difference with the infinity cowl is that it's a little wider. You'll notice I added on an extra leaf into the width of that pattern. So if you want to have the button look, but you want a wider cowl, you can watch both videos and combine, combine the techniques that I have. Um, so you'd add the ribbing from this video and the buttonholes along with doing the wider pattern. Here are the items you'll need to get started with our button version. A crochet hook. Today I'm using a six and a half millimeter size crochet hook. Yarn. For my tutorial, I'm using Pound of Love yarn from Lion Brand. Scissors. Buttons. I will link in the description down below where I got these beautiful tree buttons from and what size they are. And a needle for weaving in your ends and sewing on your buttons. Let's get started. To get started with our cowl, we want to do 47 chainless double crochet foundation stitches. I will link to a video down below where I show you how to do this. Once you have your 47 chainless foundation stitches, we're going to start our ribbing for the bottom. So we're going to chain two, turn our work, and we're going to do a double crochet front, a front post double crochet around this second stitch. So you're going to skip the first stitch and do a front post double crochet here. In the next stitch, we're going to do a back post double crochet. followed by a front post double crochet, then a back post double crochet, and we're going to continue that pattern all the way across. And you can already see that it's already producing this ribbing. At the end of the row, we're going to do our final back post double crochet. Now we're going to chain two, turn our work, and this time we're going to do ribbing again, but we're going to add our buttonholes. So we want to do our first back post double crochet because we're going to follow in line with what we have. This is now a front post, this is a back post, so we're going to go behind do our back post double crochet and then we're going to chain one we're going to skip this post and do another back post double crochet in the following stitch that's our first buttonhole we're going to also do another buttonhole where we skip the 24th stitch so we're already on to the fifth stitch so we're going to continue on and when we get to the 24th one we're going to chain one skip it and then continue on and then again in the third the third to the last stitch we're going to chain one and skip that one as well so those will be our buttonholes So for the 24th stitch, it's this back post double crochet. So instead of doing a back post double crochet, we're going to chain one and do a front post double crochet into the next front post. 
double crochet. So that'll be a retin hole. So then go ahead and continue the ribbing until you get to that third to last stitch. I'm at the third to last stitch. I'm going to chain one and skip it and I will do a back post double crochet in the second to last stitch. And then finish with my front post double crochet and that is our button row. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain two, turn our work, and we're going to simply double crochet in all of the stitches. So in the loops we're just going to double crochet. And you can count this first chain two as your first double crochet. So I'm going to start into my second stitch and double crochet across. When you get to the chain spaces just double crochet right into the chain space and continue all the way across. We're going to finish with a double crochet in the top of the chain two at the very end of the row. We're going to chain two, turn our work. And this is where the leaf pattern will start on this row, I should say. So every row is going to begin and end with three half double crochets. We're going to do a back post double crochet. followed by a front post double crochet. Okay, and now this is where the leaf pattern is going to start. So this is where you'll have to repeat one time before we get to the end of the row. So you're going to do three back post double crochets. Now we're going to do a front post double crochet decrease. Next we want to do six front post double crochets. followed by another front post double crochet decrease. And that'll be our first leaf working up. Now we're going to do four back post double crochets. and that is the leaf pattern repeat that you're going to do. So we're going to start off again with three back post double crochets, then we're going to do our front post double crochet decrease, followed by six front post double crochets, a, another front post double crochet decrease over the next two stitches, and then four back post double crochets. So I'll meet up with you when we get to the end of this row. After completing your second leaf and doing four back post double crochets, we're going to do three more back post double crochets to frame that leaf. And then we're going to do a front post double crochet And then we're going to do a back post double crochet. And then
then finish with our three half double crochets. And we'll just work into that top chain at the end. Chain two, turn your work. Now we're going to start the back of the leaf. So the other side is the right side, this is the wrong side. We're going to do our three half double crochets. We're going to do a back post, or I'm sorry, a, a front post double crochet. So we're going to do a front post double crochet, followed by a back post double crochet. And now we're going to do seven front post double crochets. Now we want to do a back post double crochet decrease. So we're going to yarn over and insert behind here. And make sure you go around your last decrease. So that is the first stitch. And then you're going to insert into the next post to finish that off. Okay, then we're going to do four back post double crochets. And then we're going to do another back post double crochet decrease. So again, we're treating that last decrease, that's one stitch. So we're going to repeat that across one more time. So we're going to do our seven front post double crochets, then we're going to do the back post decrease double crochet, and then we're going to do four back post double crochets and another back post double crochet decrease. So I'll meet with you back after that last decrease. To finish this row, we want to frame that leaf, so we're going to do three front post double crochets. And we're going to do a back post double crochet. Another front post double crochet. and three half double crochets. So you should have something like this so far. Okay, we're going to chain two, turn our work, start the next row with our three half double crochets. Do a back post double crochet, a front post double crochet, and you'll notice this line is going up, that's always going to be there. Okay, so now to start our next row of repeat. We are going to start our next stem of the next leaf. So for this row we're going to do three back post double crochets, then we're going to do our front post double crochet decrease, and 
do two front post double crochets another front post double crochet decrease Okay, now we're going to do three back post double crochets. Now to start the stem of our next leaf, we want to do a front post double crochet. And there's our next stem. So we're going to repeat this across starting with the three back post double crochets. So we'll do three back post double crochets then lead into decreasing our leaf and then again we'll do three back post double crochets and a front post double crochet and I'll meet back with you once that's done. Once you get to this point and you've done the stem of your next leaf we're going to finish with three back post double crochets Then do a front post double crochet, followed by a back post double crochet, and then three half double crochets. So we're going to chain two, turn our work, start our next row so we're going to start with our three half double crochets and every wrong side from here on out will have a front post double crochet followed by a back post double crochet when you're looking at the right side it will start with three half double crochets and you'll do a back post double crochet followed by a front post double crochet and that's how we're going to frame our work on every single beginning and end of the round. So we'll do our front post double crochet followed by the back post double crochet do three so to start our repeat we're going to do three front post double crochets we're going to work on that stem again so we're going to do a back post double crochet then three more front post double crochets now we're going to do our next decrease so do a back post double crochet decrease followed by a back post double crochet decrease we're going to do we're going to start that repeat over so we'll do three front posts followed by a back post double crochet three more front post double crochets and then decrease our leaf and I'll meet back with you when that's done To finish the row we're going to do three front post double crochets a back post double crochet a front post double crochet and three half double crochets chain two, turn your work, we're going to start our row the same so do three half double crochets followed 
followed by a back post double crochet. and then a front post double crochet. Now we'll start our repeat. Do three back post double crochets. Followed by one front post double crochet decrease. This will bring our leaf to a point. Now we're going to do three back post double crochets. And now that we've brought that last leaf to a point, we need to start expanding on this leaf. So we're going to do a front post double crochet. We're going to chain one and then we're going to do another front post double crochet around that same post. So there you can see the leaf is starting to expand. We're going to repeat that. So do three back post double crochets, a front post double crochet decrease, three back post double crochets, and then a front post double crochet chain one front post double crochet around the same stitch. From here we're going to continue the rest of our row just like we have the previous rounds and all the rest of the right side rounds. We're going to finish with three back post double crochets a front post double crochet another back post double crochet, and then three half double crochets. And then chain two, turn your work, and we'll start the next round. Start the next row as you do any other row on the wrong side with three half double crochets. followed by a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet. Now on to our repeat. We're going to do three front post double crochets. Followed by a back post double crochet Now into the chain space that we created on the last round, we're going to do a double crochet. We're going to chain one and do another double crochet into that same chain space. Then we're going to do a back post double crochet around that other stitch, around the other double crochet. Then we're going to do three front post double crochets, followed by another front post double crochet around the last decrease, so the very top of that point of that leaf, we're going to do a front post double crochet around it. Okay, so then we're going to repeat that by doing three front post double crochets, do the back post double crochet, then a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, back post double crochet, and then you're going to do your three front post double crochets, and then a front post double crochet into the top of that leaf. Then go ahead and finish your round just as you have been on all of the previous wrong side rounds. You're going to do three front post double crochets, a back post double crochet, a front post double crochet, and three half double crochets. 
chain two, turn your work. Start off your row as you normally do. Okay, and now for our repeat. You can start to see you've got the top half of this leaf and you're working up this leaf. So, we're going to start with seven back post double crochets. Next we're going to do two front post double crochets, then we're going to do a double crochet into your chain space, chain one, do another double crochet into the chain space, and then finish with two front post double crochets. Go ahead and repeat that leaf pattern with seven back post double crochets and work on your other leaf and then I'll meet back with you after that. Go ahead and finish your round as you have the past rounds. If there's a back post double crochet, continue on with that. If it's a front post, continue on with that and then finish with three half double crochets. Chain two, turn your work, start your round as you have the last rounds. To start this repeat, we're going to do three front post double crochets. Do three back post double crochets. Do a double crochet into your chain space. Chain one, do another double crochet into that chain space, and do three more back post double crochets. Next we're going to do four front post double crochets. And then we want to start over with our repeat where we do three front, work on your leaf, and then do four front post double crochets. And then you can finish your round as you have been from the previous rounds chain two, turn your work to start the next round. Begin your row as we have previous rounds. Now to start this repeat, again we're going to start with seven back post double crochets.
We're still working on increasing. This will be our last increase on our leaf. So go ahead and do four front post double crochets. And then we're going to do another double crochet into that chain stitch, chain one, and do another double crochet into that chain stitch. Then finish off your leaf with four front post double crochets. Go ahead and repeat that from the seven back post double crochets and then complete your round. We're going to start the next round on the wrong side. You can see the leaves are starting to take shape. It's okay that it's curving in and out. It will do that slightly as you work up your pattern because you're increasing and decreasing. You're working around your post stitches. So we're going to chain two, turn our work. For the next round, let's start it off like we do all the other rounds on the wrong side with our three half double crochets. Front post double crochet and back post double crochet. To start our repeat we're going to do three front post double crochets. Okay, now we're going to do 10 back post double crochets. So you're not going to do any chain space in there. You're not going to work anything into the chain space. You're just going to do 10 back post double crochets. Then we're going to go ahead and do four front post double crochets and then we're going to repeat that. So do three front post double crochets, ten back post double crochets, and then finish with four front post double crochets. Then you want to finish off your round doing three front post double crochets, a back post double crochet, a front post double crochet, and three half double crochets. So you're just going to follow that pattern up on the back. Chain two, turn your work. Start your front as you normally do. For the leaf repeat on this row, we are now going to start decreasing this leaf. So we're going to go ahead and continue on with seven back post double crochets. We're going to do a front post double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. Then we're going to do six front post double crochets. Next we're going to do 
a front post double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. And then we're going to repeat that for the next leaf pattern. Seven back post double crochets followed by a front post double crochet decrease, six front post double crochets, and another front post double crochet decrease. Finish your round as you would the previous rounds. Chain two, turn your work. Start your next row as you have the previous rounds. For this repeat, we're going to continue to just decrease that leaf. So we're going to do three front post double crochets. going to do a back post double crochet decrease. So again, working around those two stitches that we joined on the last round. We're going to work four back post double crochets. And then we're going to do another back post double crochet decrease. Do a front post double crochet in the next four stitches and then repeat from the beginning of the, the, the first three front post double crochet stitches. So do four front post double crochets. and then repeat your pattern. Chain two, turn your work. Do your repeat at the beginning of the right side. For this pattern repeat, this is where we're going to insert the stem on this leaf again and reintroduce it. So we're going to do three back post double crochets. Now we want to do a front post double crochet around the next one to start our stem. followed by three back post double crochets. Next, we're going to do a front post double crochet decrease around our last decrease and the next stitch. Do two front post double crochets followed by a front post double crochet decrease around this stitch and this decrease stitch. Now we're going to repeat the pattern, so we're going to do three back post double crochets, a front post double crochet, three back post double crochets, and then decrease your leaf. Then finish off your round. Chain two, turn your work. Begin your wrong side how you normally begin your wrong side. Now for the pattern on this one, we're going to start with three front post double crochets. Continue with your decrease, so a back post double crochet decrease over the next two stitches, followed by another back post double crochet decrease. Now 
do three front post double crochets followed by a back post double crochet to continue on with the stem of the new leaf and then repeat your leaf pattern. So three front post double crochets followed by your two back post double crochet decreases, three front post double crochets, and a back post double crochet. Then finish your round. Chain two, turn your work, repeat your beginning pattern, For this rose leaf repeat, we're going to do three back post double crochets, followed by a front post double crochet into the stem, and this is where we're going to increase. So chain one and double crochet around that same front post. Go ahead and do three back post double crochets. And because we increased on this last leaf, we need to bring this to a point. So we're going to do a double crochet decrease over these two decrease stitches. And there's our point. So go ahead and repeat that leaf pattern and then finish your round. After you chain two, go ahead and start your next round. To start our leaf pattern with this round, we're going to, or this row, we're going to do three front post double crochets, followed by a front post double crochet around this decrease stitch. And then three front post double crochets. Okay, we're going to do a back post double crochet, then we're going to do our increase on this leaf, so we're going to do a double crochet into this chain space, chain one, double crochet into that chain space again, and then a back post double crochet. We're going to repeat that leaf pattern. So we're going to start with three front post double crochets, a front post double crochet into this stitch, followed by three front post double crochets, and then work your increase on this leaf. And then finish your round. Start your round with your, your right side repeat at the beginning. Now for the leaf pattern repeat, We're going to do three back post double crochets, two front post double crochets, a double crochet into the chain space, chain one, double crochet into the chain space, two front post double crochets, and then four back post double crochets. Go ahead and repeat 
from the beginning of the leaf pattern with three back post double crochets. Finish your round as you would any of the other previous rounds. Start off your row the same as you have with previous rounds and do your three half double crochets, front post double crochet, and back post double crochet. For this row of the leaf pattern repeat, we're going to start by doing seven front post double crochets. We're going to work on increasing the leaf, so we're going to do three back post double crochets. And then we're going to do a double crochet into the chain space, chain one, do another double crochet into the chain space, and then do three back post double crochets. Go ahead and repeat that last, the last part of the leaf pattern. So we're going to do seven front post double crochets and then do your back post double crochets into three, do a double crochet in your chain space, chain one, do another double crochet, and then do three back post double crochets. Then go ahead and finish up your round with your three front post, your back post double crochet, front post double crochet, and three half double crochets. Chain two and turn your work. Do your normal pattern repeat at the beginning of the row. Okay, again with this pattern, with the leaf repeat, we're gonna do three back post double crochets. Do four front post double crochets. Then do a double crochet into the chain space, chain one. Do another double crochet into the chain space. And then do four front post double crochets. going to do four back post double crochets and then after that you'll repeat your leaf pattern one more time. So you'll start with your three back post double crochets and continue on again with that pattern. Then go ahead and finish your, the end of your round the end of your row. Chain two, turn your work, and this will be the last row of our pattern repeat. Start off with your three half double crochets. Front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and now for the leaf pattern repeat, we're going to do seven front post double crochets. Then 
Now we're going to do 10 back post double crochets. and then repeat. Once you have the leaf pattern repeat completed, go ahead and finish your round. Go ahead and chain two and continue on. I'm going to link down below. I'm going to put what time you need to start the video over at to get to this point. This is the, your total repeat. You have the top of this leaf and the bottom half of this leaf and then this full leaf completed. So you want to do this repeat four times total. So you want to have this as your first one and you're going to do this three more times. Once you complete um, three more rounds of this repeat, Then I'll show you how we finish off our cowl. Once you have completed the pattern and you've repeated it four times, then you should be up to this point. Now what we need to do is we need to chain two and then we're going to work a double crochet all the way across. So we're not working in the posts anymore. We're going to work in our loops as you normally would and do um, a double crochet all the way across. Once you finish your row of double crochets, chain two, turn your work, and now we're going to finish up with two rows of ribbing so that it matches the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and skip this first double crochet, and we're going to do a front post double crochet around the second stitch. Then we're going to do a back post double crochet, then a front post double crochet, followed by a back post double crochet. And we're going to continue this all the way across, just as we did at the beginning, to create our ribbing on this edge. So I just finished the first row of ribbing. I'm going to chain two, turn my work, and finish the last row. So make sure you go ahead and just stick with whatever the ribbing is now. So we're going to skip the first one, and then we're going to work a back post double crochet into the second stitch and then a front post double crochet back post double crochet and so on so we're just going to continue down with the pattern all the way across and then once you finish this row uh, you can just cut off your yarn and weave in your ends and then I'll show you how we do the button placement okay so there are two ways that you could do the buttons for this cowl as you can see here, I've got this one so that it's more like an infinity cowl. Um, I would say with this though, plan on doing at the beginning two more buttonholes, somewhere around here and here. Or you can just, if you plan on keeping the buttons in permanently, you don't even need a buttonhole, you can just stitch the button through both parts and then it'll keep it more sturdy. I'd also recommend if, you're, if you want it to be more of an infinity cowl but with the buttons, um, another good suggestion would be to only do three repeats, um, or I should say two additional repeats of the leaf pattern, so you have three total, uh, instead of doing four. Now, just because this is a little bit bigger, it's going to sit a little more baggy. It may not be as noticeable with the leaf pattern all the way around. So those are just my recommendations. Otherwise, you can keep it this long. I just wanted to hop on and say this is how it'll look if you keep four leaf patterns all the way around. So something good to keep in mind. So for your buttons, if you want to do vertical like this and you want it to be an infinity cowl, then all you have to do is stitch 
the buttons on and I have these cute little tree ones. I'll link to those down below. Um, if you want, you just line it up like this and then you're going to stitch the button underneath. So that's all you do for that. If you don't want the infinity style cowl and you want more of the triangle down in front, this is where you're going to place your buttons for that. Okay, so here you can see I've got, comes down to a nice point. So what I did for this, and I always line up my trees the way that I want it, so it's going to kind of sit like this. So the trees are kind of positioned so that they will look like they're straight up and down. Um, for the placement of the buttons here, you're going to cross it over so that your front, you'll have it like this. You're going to lay your bottom side down where the buttons will go. And here's where your button holes are on this one. And you're just going to cross it over so that your ends meet. So that this lines up with the side of this cowl. And that's all you do. So then you look underneath, you place the buttons and then you're all set to go. Thanks so much for watching guys. This was a fun tutorial to do. I really enjoyed the way that the leaf pattern came out in this autumn cowl. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and let me know. Which style do you prefer? Do you like it better with the point or do you prefer the infinity style cowl? Also guys, I linked to a different video down below on the other leaf cowl if you wanna get three wide at one point and then two wide. I'll link to that down below, so if you'd like to make a wider cowl and maybe shorter so you can do that infinity style cowl without buttons, then that's another option for you. Thanks guys, have a wonderful day!